Electricity has really taken a, uh, a fundamental role in all of our lives. Right now, we are incredibly device dependent. Every efficiency that we take for granted now in life, our digital connectivity. We've been in a world where big centralized power plants for decades and decades and decades have been pushing electricity to customers who just take what they receive. Thomas Edison invented the first grid networks right here in New York City. Things haven't changed much since, to be frank. In 2012, New York City was devastated by Hurricane Sandy, leaving approximately 8 million households in the Manhattan area and beyond without power. I would say some of the most interesting things that we noted in Sandy were the impacts to medical facilities. Lower Manhattan was completely shut down. These facilities were wholly unprepared for a lot of the issues that came out. So we have to really create a modernized infrastructure that's adaptive to the challenges that we're gonna be facing. Distributed energy resources, it's really that transition of centralized power grid becoming decentralized. Distributed Energy Resources, or DER, refers to locally installed systems like solar panels and storage batteries that generate electricity for local use. There is the incredibly unprecedented ability for these properties to generate their own power, to have giant batteries that regulate their energy production and allow customers to use that energy at exactly the right time. This project here is the League School. We are located out in Brooklyn. We have a 65 kW solar array here up on the roof. By deploying distributed energy solutions and renewables, they can allocate that money to better places that really help their constituents. When you have that triple thread of resiliency, cost benefit, and environmental benefit with low carbon technologies, that's kind of the, the trifecta that we always want to hit if we can. However, for DER to expand, there are still some hurdles to overcome. One of the major problems in trying to re-engineer a grid, as you would expect, is the analysis itself. Major utilities bring in huge teams of consultants to bring that analytical power to try and solve these issues. But a single building owner who wants to try and decarbonize their electricity supply doesn't. Enter the grid market platform developed for companies who want to implement DER. Using a unique algorithm, the platform's AI runs analysis on data like generation capacity and cost for each building in the system. You have the ability to go in, look at the actual properties within the project. It pulls the details that we had from the database. At the top, we have what we think is the most important, the energy recommendations, where we have sizing for the four different DERs. It tells you exactly how much savings since January 1st, 2019. Grid Market's platform has data on over 300 million properties around the world, and its proprietary AI system is aggregating new data every day. Imagine 5 million properties in New York all have distributed energy in the future. Maybe no one can predict what kind of a business model can really be a winner. As Marbeni, one of the biggest trading houses in the world, when the distributed energy society comes, we want to be in the position which leads that society. By catching the platform, working with Green Market, that's going to lead us really getting the necessities, needs, the requirements from the customers, and the data, networks, those, all the assets that are seem to be uh, used to uh, create a new value. Most analysis is showing that large conventional power plants like coal plants are shuddering at alarming rates. I believe that we are going to be in a future where electricity is produced everywhere. We need to have an entire economy focused on these transitions, making sure that we are prepared for the good and the bad that's to come. Our lives will change irrevocably uh, if we don't stay ahead, uh, particularly on the electricity side.